Hi guys, I'm back. So yes, welcome to Motion Sleep Story Reactions. We're on episode 86. I'm Miguel Sanchez, and I believe we just came here to watch me react to another story today. Yes, we're doing two today. It's our double header. And then we have Motion Monsters by Every Close of today. Episode 347 is going to be about Roy T. Biff. So don't go away. Plenty more action c coming your way. So stay tuned. So yes, thanks for being here. All right, time to sleep. We've got another sleep story to react to. And this one is and this and this one is another one that's that, that that's at nearly a half hour long. That's right, thirty minutes long, people. So we gotta get this out of the way. And let's just get the story out in style. So get ready, guys. It's about to go well right now. Guy, good. Let us say sorry. So yes, welcome to episode eighty six of the series. Today I'm reacting to. This time I'm ready to Darwin the, the Daring Dodo at Soma Doug Hunter. This, this should be a pretty good story. Uh, we should react to. So, yes, this is episode 86 of the series, and I'm reacting to Darwin the, the Daring Dodo. So, let's just jump right into it, shall we? If you haven't seen the previous episode, go check it out, episode 85, where it was Otto's bubbly bedtime told by the same internet as the story. So, I'll leave a link to it on the top right corner of the screen where you can watch it and check out this video however you want. In the meantime, let's just get started. You ready for today's episode? <sighs> So am I. Let's just start, shall we? Here we go. So, about the story. There we go. Now, about the story. Making your mind up can be tricky, as Darwin discovers during a sleepy adventure that sees this dithering dodo journeying across the Moshi world alongside a wandering wumple who... I don't know that one wandering wumple. Wuzzle! He's going to be in the story as well, and I reacted to his story a few, a few episodes ago here on the series. It was Wuzzle Goes to Wumplestock, and it was on episode 17 of the series, so give that a watch if you haven't seen yet, but yes, we're about to see this orange soul story will be told by Doug Hunter. And we gotta know who Darwin is, let's take a look. So who is Darwin? Darwin, the Dittering Dodo, is a rare Moshling in Moshi Monsters. Darwin is a dodo. It is imp it is implied that this Moshling species are endangered as they are described as rare and frequently damage themselves from flat, from flight attempts. Darwin did not see a release inside the, um, the original online game. They instead made their untenable debut in Motion Monsters Egg Hunt, where they can be attained by daily egg hatching. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I have more on Darwin over on Motion Monsters, but he was on, he was on episode 87, so please go get that and watch up a link up there on the top right corner of the screen where you can get any more information regarding Darwin and his appearance in Motion Monsters Egg Hunt. Game rate success for Egg Hunt. Name, for Darwin, name is Darwin, says Frosty's Watch number 191. Get 191? Yes, guy, good species. Dithering Dodo, rarity is rare, released on May 4th, 2017, figure it, in Motion Monsters Egg Hunt, figure it in Series 11. So that's pretty much it. And finally, combo and watch combination, combo unknown, top secret. Yeah, come on, no top seat, ladies and gentlemen. See, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Also, also, in the description of the story, it says Wandering Wumple, and that is Wuzzle. So we got, and he's going to be in the story as well, so we got to find out who he is. So let's take a look. So, who's Wuzzle? Wuzzle, the Wandering Wumple, is a rare monster in the Guru set in Moshi Monsters. They bear a strong resemblance to his sensei. Wuzzle is an ancient monster who lived before the Great Custer Flood. They enjoy drifting around. So, yeah, it had been, if you recall about all the way back to episode 17 where I reacted to Wuzzle Go to Wumblestock, then that's, made the, that's the same impression as in the story. So, yes, let's take a look at here for Wuzzle. Name is Wuzzle, says Guru's monster number is 153. Got 153, that's pretty much it. As, uh, but, uh, but his number is different in the new Clutcher's Guide. 0 to 1! Yeah, the, the zero to one as it, as in the new closest guy, so that's pretty bizarre. Uh, the species is a wandering wumple, wumple rarity is rare. Release on November twenty first, two thousand thirteen. Figures is in series nine. So yep, that's pretty pretty much it. Monster combination as always to catch Wuzzle, Loopy Lotus. That's the come. That's a special monster seed here. Loopy Lotus is the special monster seed for for a Wuzzle. So that's pretty much it. That's in the middle on the sides. There are two lost seeds, one on the left, one on the right. And that's the combination to catch Wuzzle. However, there's a note at the bottom. Wuzzle could be obtained by subscribing to the Motion Monsters magazine, though it has since been replaced by Weagle, making it impossible to obtain at this moment. Uh oh. I'll try my best to do it over Motion Monsters Rebranded, so I'll put a link down below in the description to subscribe to my second uh, for you guys to subscribe to my second channel. Is worth the wait. All right, no talk. We met Darwin. We met Wuzzle. Now on with the story. As you can see, there everything that you're about to listen to is real, straight from the world of Moshi. You've been warned. Once again, the color is orange. So the story will be told by Doug Hunter. Fair warning for you guys and girls. Warning: Moshi is a property mechanic. Credit goes out to them. No copyright infringement is intended. I owe nothing. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Thank you for your attention. <sighs> now. It's time for the story to get started. Run time, 29 minutes, 52 seconds. Nearly a half hour of story to get through. So, but we gotta get through this together. So guys, hang on tight, keep your hands, arms, feet, legs, inside your chairs at all times. Please supervise the children. 
if you want to. And with that being said, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show! As I present to you, Star Wars, the three dozen. Okay, he finds his way back home. Well, we'll still find out. Enjoy the show, everybody. Let the story begin. Go! Hello. Hello there. How are you today? Tonight, we're journeying to the Frosty Pop Glacier. Whoa. Somewhere there in the twilight, twilight world, world of Moshi. Worldwide family television. Darwin, a dithering dodo. Ooh, yeah. Who can never quite seem to make up his mind. Oh, we'll see So now. make yourself comfortable. I'm ready. And relax, ready. everybody. The story's about to begin. Your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Oh my gosh, this is time. Page is good rhymes because there is a writing story. Just like such as. Page is good rhymes when they come out. I've got a lot of reactions to get through, so stay ready, guys. It's gonna be what they may want, so stay ready, guys. It's the time. Come out. The story begin. Now the story begin. Way up on a glacier known as Upper Frosty Pop. On the glacier, on Upper Fro Fro Frosty Pop, it should be a, a good one. Frosty Pop, stop! He's been walking around for quite a while. Whoa, this should be good. To where he does not know. He does not know anything. Because he can't decide. Uh oh, no decision just exactly yet. Exactly where he wants to go. No or go, no or go. The Dodo's name is Darwin. Oh my gosh. From a village called. Uh, whatever. Whatever. A place where the locals dither. Yes. For what seems like forever. Or whatever forever. Darwin's just the same. Oh, man. Because he can't make up his mind. You can't make up your mind, my friends. Just and forget. this constant indecision. In a bind. Bind, bind. Darwin's walking around in circles. What? Wondering what to do. What, what's he going to do, my friends? Should he stay or should he go? Should he stay or should he go? You never he know. He hasn't got a clue. Do, clue. Finally, he makes a choice. Oh, man. He'll try to find out why. Try to find out why. He can never make his mind up. Mm -hmm. However hard he tries. Why? Tries. Because this is where it... Yeah, music break time. It's gonna be a long one. Episode 347, where it's out. Boy, she's been. I can get closer to the end of the R. I can get a little R. When it's already done, we'll take a break from that series as I get ready for Phoenix on Thursday. So, 
get ready, guys. This should be a pretty. This is gonna be a pretty long trip ahead. So yeah, this should be a, a pretty long day. I'll be gone for four to five days, and I'll be back next week to resume my programming. So get ready, guys. This should be good. All right, back to the story. Uh-oh, Wumbleton. Hoping he will find... Hoping he will find what? A way to be decisive. Okay. That will help his dithering mind. Find mind! He's heard about a moshling who delivers smart advice. Smart advice for you, my friends. Whoa! Who's very zen and wise. Well, zen and wise. Darwin knows that Wumples advice wise like to think and contemplate. Okay, contemplate. Yet make all their decisions. Okay. At a pretty rapid rate. Rate. Wait, rate. Darwin. Will help him to be bold. To be bold, yes. For he believes decisiveness. Okay, decisiveness. Is worth its weight in gold. The weight in gold, yeah. Darwin wanders past a stream. Okay. As day turns into night. Oh boy, day into night. What? Beneath the pale moonlight. The pale moonlight. I see fragments in the stream. Okay. Are shimmering like gems. Gems, yeah. As glistening water. What? Trickles over bankside crocus stems. Oh, gem stems. It's a break. Oh boy, gosh. I'm going to get break on your way. So yes, you still have those. We got a lot of, a lot of sleep stories left on the, um, on the board that yet to be reacted. So let's get one of them away. I'm trying to react to every single one of them. This, this is going to be a good one. So keep your eyes still for any new sleep stories when they come out. It should be a pretty good one. Come on, we got this together. Everything is better when you stay ahead. Overcome your challenges. Make just trust your heart and proud and be proud of yourself. That's how it's done in the world of Boshi. Thank you for your attention. Back to the story! What? It should be good. Scratching at his head. Whoa, scratching at your head. He can't decide which way to go. Uh oh, which way is he gonna go? So turns around instead. Head instead. As usual, faced with options. What options? Darwin cannot make a choice. Oh no, he's unable to make a choice. But then. Yo, come on! He hears a calming voice. A voice, choice, voice! I take it you are Darwin. Whoa. The dreamy voice inquires. Inquires, huh? Woman. My yes. name's Wuzzle. I can help with all your heart's desires. Heart's desires, yeah! 
what? And sees a wonky looking chap. Oh yeah. Inquires desires. Fluffy, cute, yet gracious. Yeah. With a jaunty, cone shaped hat. Hat. Uh, uh. I hear you need a mentor. I think it's rhyme. A wise old Boshling guide. Well, your guy will be here with you, guys. It might be right, says Darwin. What? But I really can't decide. Uh, guide, decide. Follow me, the Wumble says. Okay, let's do it. I'll help you solve this riddle. All right, the riddle will be solved. You need to change your mindset. Oh my gosh. Cause it's wavering in the middle. Riddle middle. Right, music break. Oh my gosh. So this should be a pretty good news story. Hopefully that learned your lesson by now. Yes. Oh boy. You didn't know when you were going to see it here, but in the end, it could be a pretty good story to react to. Look, grab your friends, grab your passports, because it's going time. So forget it. Well, I'm sorry, people. Because, yeah, I don't know about you. Uh, look, uh, we have Logan who's into number nine. Uh, uh, number 19 on the docket. It'll be, um. Fish Network, Xfinity, David Busters, Mike on CBS, Sage in Columbia, KAC, KCC, KHW, and o Oregon Public Broadcasting. It's coming soon after this trip to Phoenix, so stay tuned. Don't miss out. Back to the story. Okay. Towards a lotus leaf. Whoa! A lotus leaf? Unbelievable. Which has a tiny sycamore propeller. Oh my gosh. Underneath. Leaf! Neath! Underneath! Step aboard. Yeah. Says Wuzzle. Oh my gosh. I'll help you understand. Understand? As Darwin sees the leaf is powered by a rubber band. Understand, band. It's twizzled around a matchstick. Pausing every three, every line. And fastened by a pin. A pin. What's gonna happen here? So Wuzzle pulls it out. And the propeller starts to spin. Whoa! This is be good. They saw into the starlit sky. What? Come on! As Darwin shuts his eyes. His eyes. What are we? What's and next? Wuzzle sits with legs crossed. What? Which makes him look so wise. Eyes wise. Darwin sits down too. Okay. And he is just about. Just about to speak, ladies and gentlemen. When Wuzzle reaches out. Okay. And puts a finger to his beak. <laughs> Shh. Listen to the piece. He says. Yeah. It's wonderful up here. Up, wonderful up here, my friend. This is where I come to think. Okay. It keeps my noodle clear. Clear. Here, clear. That's a rhyme. Music break! Oh boy, we're halfway through the story, ladies and gentlemen. After the trip to Phoenix, we start our. We have to begin the uh, trip. Uh, we have to begin by reading up the great muscle gag. I found the. I think it got the. I found it confirmed early today. The appropriate day for my reading of the Rewatch Again is next Tuesday. It may be on our trip to, to Phoenix. So, get ready, guys. 
Why are you the Merchant Monsters of the Movie? You're watching Gag and Kiv next Tuesday. It's a big novel you do not want to miss out on, so stay tuned. The, the, and this will take the place of the World of Blocks. Yes, since the World of Blocks is no more. Yeah, the World of Blocks is no more, my friends. Since, since, the, the, since the series creator, if it is any pit, let the art for good. Sorry about the people. And when, when new Sammy and Kiddo arrive, I'll bring back Sammy and Kiddo Origins for, uh, for a limited amount of time. So stay tuned. You never know what's gonna happen here on my channel. That's the story! Pay attention to the rhymes! At this point in our story... Oh boy. You're probably wondering why. You're, yes, I'm probably wondering why. A birdie such as Darwin... Okay. ...would need a leaf to fly. Oh boy, why fly? Well, dodos such as Darwin... Can't even fly! Gave up flying long ago. Long ago? So now their wings are teeny. Ah, super teeny. And they never really grow. Uh, ago, grow! Anyway, back on the leaf. Okay. Our friends are all alone. They're all alone. Enjoying all the silence. Yeah, look, look, alone, zone. A gentle breeze now elevates them way above the ground. Above the ground? What do we have? Come on, got this. And up here in the moonlit skies. Oh, it's on now. You cannot hear a sound. Sound, ground, sound, ground, sound. Finally, the time has come. It is time, ladies and gentlemen. For Wuzzle. To explain. Time to explain. How being more decisive okay. will help Darwin's muddled brain. Oh my gosh. Wuzzle takes a slow, deep breath. Explain, dream. Then whispers to his friend. Whoa, my friend. You need to trust your instincts. Whoa. Friend, recommend. As the leaf drifts through the sky. Okay, come on. Carries on. It carries on. Be bold with your decisions. Yeah, decisions indeed. Come on. And don't worry if they're wrong. On, wrong. Learn from your mistakes. Yeah, better learn from my mistakes. And make the most. Of what you choose. How about I learn from what I chose? Because when it comes to choices. Yeah, okay. Some you win and some you lose. Choose lose. Miss a break! Boy. Oh boy. We're gonna go to the other my friends. Yeah, the story's almost over, but don't you be worried because we, there'll be more sleep stories coming your way after our trip to Phoenix. Stay tuned! So don't go away. Plenty more where that came from. So hang in there. We got, we got more where that came from. Man, this, this is gonna be a good one. So keep your eyes peeled for our next sleep story. Correction coming soon. That, that, so keep your eyes peeled for tomorrow's episode. You may never know. And soon, the rough, if, if there's a winter bedtime from here, I'll have stuff for you. Guy, good. Back to the story! Darwin knocks while pondering. Wuzzle's wise and thoughtful words. What? Not the words? Then gazes at a distant flock. Whoa. Of fell yeah. moshling birds. 
Oh, birds, no. They're soaring left, then flitting right. What? Cunt. Then going round and round. Around and round, we go. And then they seem to give up. What? Come on. And return back to the ground. Round, ground, round, round. Those birds are going nowhere. What? Are you crazy? Because they can't make up their minds. They can't make up their minds. Crazy. Thinks Darwin as he makes a choice. Yes. To leave his past behind. Leave the past behind, everybody. I'll try to change my ways. Okay. He says to Wuzzle as they land. As, as they land, come on. And with his little wing, he goes to shake the Wumple's hand. Land, hand! Thanks for your advice. Okay. And the amazing moonlit ride. Whoa, yay! I think it may have helped. Yes! But right now I can't decide. Pride, decide! Was all bows oh. and waves as Darwin walks towards a river. Oh man, the river. Then watches as he stops before a bridge. Yeah! And starts to dither. Dither, river, ri river, dither. Okay. Before he makes his choice. To make your choice. He strides across with purpose. Okay. Causing Wuzzle to rejoice. Choice, rejoice. Darwin still has doubts at times. What? Oh, you crazy. Because nothing's ever sure. Mm -hmm, I know. But at last it seems. This doo doo is a dither. No more. Yay! Good night! Another story has been reacted! Yay! That was the final part of the story with 7 minutes and 19 seconds left to spare! Woo! Yeah, so with 7 minutes and 19 minutes to spare. So, so Darwin has learned a lesson. He is, he, he is no longer dithering Jojo. But just as he doesn't really expect it, he just can't go wrong. You just got, you, you just need some advice from Buzzle. And that should be it. So, guys, that's the end, ladies and gentlemen. Another story has been reacted. Everybody, you, you got, you got these our heads. And how did this happen? Well, it just goes to show you, make, make the most of your life and be proud of yourself. Gas, that's how it's done. Don't dither, be yourself. Learn how to remember your mind and enjoy the moments that happen in your mind and enjoy it for yourself. No worries, no doubts, no glory, no guts. That's how it's done. So that's how it's done. Dar the Muslim has told Darwin a lesson. Never be proud, never be, never lose your memories. Keep keep your memory inside of you and always find your way back. That's how it's done. You know the drill by now. <laughs> if you can't decide on where to go, find your way through and, and you and take on your own challenges because that's how it's done here in this world. Be proud, be courageous, be strong. And enjoy your life, no matter where you go. Because that is how it's done. Yes, Darwin has learned a lesson for himself, according to Russell, according to Russell. Don't don't lose your memory. Keep that memory inside of you, and don't even dither, because he is a Toto. Because that's how that's what Totos do. That's how it's done. No worries, no strong, no sense, no glory. No guts, no glory, no dithering donuts needed. But yet, it's good night, and those has been reacted, and just like that, 
at the end of the story. Yay! Woo! So yes, it is the end of the story, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that, I hope that ladies listen right now. And believe me, it should be a good story. Yeah, that was a very good story that I tried to react to. But in the end, how did that happen? Is it a great story? Is it a bad one? You never know unless we give it the final review. So, I don't know about you, but you guys do it. So great. Come on. Yes, that's how it's done, my friend. If you can't decide where to go, that, no, no, just make sure you stay ahead of the game. Because that's how it's done in this world, unlike any other. So, thanks, thanks to Darwin, and thanks to Wuzzle, you made it possible. And thank you for that very important lesson you learned in the past. Never give up your mind, never be secure. With that, let's get to the final lesson of the story. So yes, Star Wars The Little Eat Toto happens to be a good story, but just because I expected it won't be happening for too long, but, but in the end, how could this happen? No worries! But yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to say right here, so yes, no worries about that, I really love it. I'm seeing what's it, I'm writing Dota, Star Wars The, the Little Eat Toto with a score of 7 out of 10. Good! Completely good! <laughs> but yes, yeah, yeah, good story. Just as I expected, Star Wars The Little Eat Toto is a good story. But you just gotta show you that life just can't be sweet unless you put your mind to it. So yes, that should be good. So yes, Star Wars and Dory Dodo get a uh, 7 out of 10. The story, the character himself. So yeah, it's pretty much it. Uh, over Motion Monster by Ivy, I gave Darwin a score of 7 out of 10, so that's a good character as well. So, so both Darwin and his story both get a 7 out of 10. Dar the character, Darwin the character gets a 7 out of 10 on Motion Monster by Ivy. Here are Motion Season Regressions. The story, Darwin the Dory Dodo, also gets a 7 out of 10. So that's pretty, pretty good. That's only my personal concern to people for each of you which is read. Any thoughts in your opinion in the comment section down below. But that, it's all over! Yay! Thank you so much for watching the episode of Motion Season Regressions. Man, hope you guys had a blast. We could have done it without all of you. Thanks, you, thanks for everyone for supporting the channel. And thank you so much for watching. We will see you later today for a new episode of Moshi Monsters by Amy. As we take a look at, as we take a look at Roy G. Biv. <laughs> Which would be pretty good. As, and there are only two characters on the cover of our so check this out. We got more characters where that came from. Immediately after we're done, when we return from, from Phoenix, we will start the world S. So stay tuned, guys. It is gonna be big, totally big, so stay tuned. But yes, everything must come to an end. Thank you all for watching. You are the best. I love you all from the middle back. I'm your guy Sanchez. You be yourself, and I will see you tomorrow on Moshi C Regressions. Don't miss out our don't miss our next exciting episode featuring another super boss lane. That's why episode 87 is gonna be. Chase the Magnificent Sphinx, as told by Will Huggins. That's why right. another story to feature Ace of Washington here on the show. First one to do so was Kazuki Sandwich on episode 13, followed by Followed by Lights on Tuko on episode 19, then Flash and Wonder Store on episode 20, and then Virtual Dreams with Ugo's on episode 24. Man, a whole lot to cover here. Then Toshi the Simi Yoshi on episode 35. And then Glappy and the Rain with Honcho on episode 44. Whoa. Whoa. Unbelievable. How many stories are there that have super washings? I don't know. And then we have Sir Sherman and Moon Mo Mo Moshi Sword on episode, uh, on episode uh, 70. And then Thumb Kiss from Super Radio on episode 74. And then, uh, and then most recently, Ruffles Eat the Platform on episode 75. Now, this will be the 8th story to feature a super washing. So don't miss it. 8th story in the series to feature you super watching, so don't miss out. We will see you on, on episode 87 tomorrow. Until then, we go such my YouTube, please remember to uh, leave a like, share this video with your friends, leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, turn on notifications to never miss a new video. Subscribe with, with notifications turn on to never miss another new video for me as we are on the road to 800 subscribers. Thank you all for watching. You are the best. Thank you for tuning in today. We love you. 3, 2, 1. 
done. And it's over. Thank you all for watching. See you tomorrow for episode 87. That's a react to Jinx about Emphasis Sphinx. And so far, we'll hug as I can see. I already talked about Jinx over on episode 202 of Mochi Monster Survivor. So get that watch first. Then come back as I react to that story. And we'll see you for Mochi Monster Survivor later on today as we take a look at. As we take a look at uh, Roy G. Biff. So please stay tuned for that. And I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thank you all for tuning in today. You are the best. We love you every single day. And cut out time for you. We'll see you tomorrow for our eighth story in the series to feature a super Mosh Link here on Moshi Sleep Story Reactions. Have a great day, guys. I am Miguel Sanchez for Moshi Sleep Story Reactions. And we'll see you over on Moshi Monster Spivey later on today. God bless happy gaming. This is Big Guys Sanchez signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe. We'll see you in another video. Laters!